videos are used by churches around the country. They offer training on how to prevent child sexual abuse. News 4's Jen Schantz has more on this. Jen? Jackie, according to the Cincinnati Inquirer, the two videos called A Time to Protect God's Children and A Plan to Protect God's Children are used in mandatory training pro programs for volunteers, teachers, and others who work in the church. Following recent claims that Malone did not do enough to protect victims of clergy sex abuse, some training facilitators wanted him out of those videos. Following claims that Buffalo Bishop Richard Malone did not protect victims of clergy sex abuse, training facilitators in Cincinnati have called for him to be removed from a widely used church training video. The video offers advice on how to prevent child sex abuse. According to a spokesperson for the Archdiocese of Cincinnati, when concerned facilitators contacted the company who produces the films, it was already editing the bishop out. Archbishop Gregory Amond from New Orleans, also accused by survivors of not doing enough to prevent abuse, will also be edited out of a training video. The company, Virtus, is based out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's affiliated with the National Catholic Risk Retention Group, a nonprofit insurance company that provides coverage for Catholic groups. Several Democratic lawmakers have called on Malone to step down as Buffalo's bishop. A change.org petition calling for the same thing now has almost 6,000 signatures. Malone, who introduces the current training video, has said he will not resign. I stand before you today recommitted to my calling to serve as Bishop of Buffalo. According to staff at the Archdiocese of Cincinnati, who conducts these trainings weekly, the two new versions of the videos are expected to be completed by the end of the year. We reached out to the Diocese of Buffalo and to the Archdiocese of New York, Cardinal Timothy Dolan's office, for a comment. We're still waiting on a response. We also reached out to that company, Virtus, to see if the bishops will be replaced by other church leaders or simply cut out. They haven't returned our several calls either. Jen Schatz, News 4.